Hello, thanks for checking out What's Up at Fun Factory Hobbies. This is for the weeks, uh, two weeks, ending on uh, the 30th of July, 2022. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting the video up, and sorry for the missing video the prior week. Uh, I came down with COVID uh, on the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, somewhere around there. Um, and so obviously wasn't feeling up to doing a video that weekend. And then we were in quarantine through this past weekend, July 30, 31st. Uh, Stanley came down with it too. Um, so yeah. Um, so now I'm just getting back caught up and, uh, I've got two weeks worth of stuff to, uh, new stuff to go over. So, uh, let's get to it. Shall we see the big old pile of stuff there? Uh, so let's start at the end, shall we? Uh, MetaZoo just came out with their third set UFO. So we've got boosters. We've got, they call these spell books, but they're similar to a Pokemon Elite Trainer Box or a Magic Bundle slash Fat Pack. And then uh, a release event box. Uh, so that's going to be something like a pre-release pack or build and battle box for Magic and Pokemon, respectively. Uh, so we have those in stock, and we also have, from the previous set, um, a couple of these uh, release event boxes for that, too. I know we've had several people asking about MetaZoo. Now we've got it. Uh, let's see, what else? <clears throat> Lots of cool stuff. Wavelength is a newish board game from Asmodee, or at least one of the Asmodee companies. Uh... One of the best party games we've ever played, according to Polygon. A telepathic party game from the creators of The Mind and Monikers. Wavelength is a party game where two teams compete to read each other's minds. It's a thrilling experience of talking and thinking and high-fiving that anyone can play, but it also has some of that deep word game sorcery where your decisions feel tense, strategic, meaningful. 2 to 12 or more people, 30 to 45 minutes, 14 years and up. Uh, it's supposed to be it's one of the new Asmodee bestsellers, so cool stuff. Uh, for, for Dungeons & Dragons, we have the new Journey Through the Radiant Citadel. Lighting your path to adventure through the mists of the ethereal plane shines the Radiant Citadel. A magical city with connections to lands rich with excitement and danger. Travelers from across the multiverse flock here to share their traditions, stories, and calls for heroes. The Radiant Citadel is the first step on the path to legend. Where will your journeys take you? This is a collection of 13 short standalone D&D adventures. Each adventure has ties to the Radiant Citadel and can be run by itself or as part of an ongoing campaign. Include these adventures in any D&D campaign setting or in worlds of your own design. Then explore the Radiant Citadel and learn how it can link any adventures into a wider campaign. Specifically for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, adventures for characters of levels 1 through 14. Uh, we've got the regular cover, which I just showed you, and the alternate art. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I think I've showed this one off before, but Dad Joke Face-Off. And there is an expand the This will be behind the counter. The Not Safe for Work After Dark expansion. Because we keep the adult-themed stuff behind the counter so little prying eyes don't see them. Uh, new Yahtzee set. Hocus Pocus, because there's a new Hocus Pocus movie coming out at the end of September. Uh, we got some cool dice there. Disney, cool. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, let's see. The Campaign Case Creatures from Wizards of the Coast. This is, again, a D&D &D accessory. So it's got a bunch of poker chip style things in the standard uh, creature base sizes and a bunch of stickers that go on them, 64 weighted creature discs in four colors, two removable storage trays for the tokens, five sheets of full color creature clings, a storage folder for the creature clings, and a storage case. 
Uh, pretty cool, uh, kind of a less expensive way to get some neat two-dimensional monsters. Not cool as 3D, but way cheaper than getting a comparable number of 3D uh, monsters. So there you go. Uh, for Warhammer, this from the Horus Heresy, a.k.a. Warhammer 30,000. Leviathan Siege Dreadnought with Claw and Drill Weapons. So if you're into the 30k stuff, there's a new kit for that. And then there was a bunch of releases for the Warhammer 40k Chaos Space Marines. We have a box of Chosen. A Dark Commune. More sorcery stuff. New Chaos Cultists. So get you some different poses and whatnot from if you came in at 6th or 7th edition with the starter box that had a bunch of cultists in it. And a Warpsmith. Really cool model kits. Oh, and uh, this also for 40k, but this isn't new. Uh, an Orc Weird Boy. Uh, it was a web exclusive kit, but I had another order I was placing and needed a little bit more money. So there you go. From Gamelin Games, Tiny Epic Quest. We've got a whole bunch of Tiny Epic Games. In this Tiny Epic Quest, you will embark on a grand adventure of courage and glory. A once peaceful world has been torn asunder by an army of goblins invading from beneath the land's crust. It's up to the players to prove their valor through slaying goblins, learning ancient spells, completing quests, and acquiring powerful items that equip right to your meeples. Item meeples! Can you move your heroes to complete the quests before your opponents do? Will the horse get you there fast enough, or will you need to take the griffin? Will you press on to complete one more goal, or should you rest to assure a better tomorrow? Uh, these tiny epic games are really cool, and this one adds the really cool thing of 12 equipable me meeples with item meeples. Yep, that's a weird word. Anyway... You can see the equipable stuff on the meeples. Cool stuff. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, we got some new sets from Serious Dice. So we 15. Uh, let's see, this one is called Purple Glaze. Um, this one is called Sherbet. This one is called Seamoss. And Dragon Fruit. We've got a whole bunch of uh, Clan and Inner Sphere and even a couple of Comstar. Uh, mech packs for Battletech. Um, they had a Kickstarter a couple years ago for the clan invasion and it just went wild, multiple millions of dollars. So now they have a whole bunch of new high density plastic uh, premium figures. So here's Inner Sphere Support Lance, Inner Sphere Urban Lance, Inner Sphere Heavy Lance, Clan Command Star, Clan Heavy Striker Star, get back to you, Clan Ad Hoc Star. Clan Support Star. Bad words. Clan Fire Star. And another Clan Fire Star. Clan Heavy Battle Star. Comstar Command Level 2. Comstar Battle Level 2. And some more Inner Sphere stuff. 
Let's see, we already did the heavy lance. So we have heavy battle lance. Oh. Inner sphere heavy battle lance. And last but not least, inner sphere fire lance. So lots and lots of new mech minis to choose from. The lances are four packs. The clan stars are five packs. The Comstar Battle Packs are six packs. Uh, they have prices varying accordingly. Lots and lots and lots of cool stuff. Uh, let's see, Star Wars stuff. So the Mandalorian Spotted. For Star Wars Legion. Radagon Nasp Fluttercraft. So, uh, so I support craft for your Wookiees. On Kashyyyk. <laughs> Might have had this one before, but Super Tactical Droid Commander Expansion. <clears throat> and Infantry Support pl Platform for your clones. Um... Other news, organized play-wise, we do not have Friday Night Magic this coming Friday, August 6th, because Tammy is out of town, and as a consequence, we will be closing the rest of this week, so August 3rd, today when I'm recording this, 4th, 5th, and 6th, we'll be closing at 3 p.m., because I still have my stupid other job. And I shouldn't call it stupid, because it puts food in my belly, but yeah. Anyway, uh, and uh, we'll also probably be closing early Monday, possibly Tuesday next week as well, uh, because Tammy is out of state. Well, technically she's not out of state yet, but we'll be going out of state tomorrow. Uh, she's already gone from the store here, uh, hanging with my parents at a NASCAR race all weekend. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, no Friday Night Magic on August 6th. There will be... Friday Night Magic, uh, I'm sorry, on August 5th. There will be Friday Night Magic on August 12th. Originally, that was supposed to have been the launch weekend for the Warhammer 40,000 crossover Commander decks launch thing, but those have been delayed to October, so just normal Commander next week, which is to say Friday, August 12th. Um, we will have limited Pokemon League this coming Saturday, the 6th, uh, from 2 until about 3 p.m. Because, again, I have to close early and go drive truck. So, that's what's up. Thanks, as always, for checking us out. If you found the video useful, like it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. Because once we hit 100 subscribers, we can have an actual named channel instead of the gobbledygook garbage name that defaults from when we signed up with YouTube. So there you go. Again, thanks for checking us out and uh, tune in this coming weekend to see what's up at Fun Factory Hobbies.